He's talking to us, I feel like. I feel like he's inviting us into his space. Tiffany Bennett is excited to buy this artwork. But it's beautiful, and uh, this is my first painting, and I feel like this is a great first piece. She says it's extra special to purchase it from Art Noir, a new retail shop and gallery. The gallery site is a collaboration with Onyx Fine Arts Collective. Together, they're putting the spotlight on black artists and makers. It's good to stand in a space that's for us. Art is needed, it's important. I always want to make sure that I purchase it, support it, and introduce it to the youth. Tiffany was born and raised in Seattle Central District. She lives upstairs here at Midtown Square above the gallery. She's thrilled to welcome the building's new anchor tenant and believes it will bring positive changes to the area. I feel comfortable coming in here and walking around and, and purchasing from someone that looks like me and that even if you don't look like me, if you're in this space, you understand that this space is important to us. There was violence in the area and now with art in, on the corner, there won't be violence. This new space is a dream come true for the founder, Vivian Phillips. There's other stuff too. She's been running an online art magazine which shares the same name for several years. This is done by Takiya Ward. And now it's come to life in a new way that she hopes will have lasting impact. Once the theme was developed, which is reverence and discovery, and it, it, for me, it, in, it is indicative of the community's desire to have this space be revered, but also for us to have some inspiration going into the future. Phillips worked with the developers of Midtown Square on several public art installations outside of the building, which also feature black artists. When they said to me, what do you think about being the anchor retail tenant? And I thought, that sounds perfect because that really gives us an opportunity to be reverent and honor the legacy on the corner of 23rd and Union. But this new space isn't just another shop and gallery focused on making money. Art Noir and Onyx Fine Arts Collective are both nonprofits. The artists and makers featured here receive 100% of the net proceeds, something that is rare and refreshing. Our primary goal is to put money in the hands of these artists and really uplift them as artists and bring them much more visibility if we can. And then I'm proud. And One of the I'm artists so whose work is getting a lot of visibility is Yegzao Michael, who goes by Yegi. His unique art is something you can't miss. What can I say? I mean, like having a space, having a home, is one of the best things for all artists. And I'm very honored to be part of this and uh, my work being sold here. Yegi's creation is called Visual Rhythm and includes more than 200 ceiling totems, as he calls them. 17 of them are custom designed to represent the first African-Americans who came to King County roughly 170 years ago. <laughs> The team here hopes the idea of uplifting and supporting black artists like Yegi will grow to other areas and become part of a bigger conversation about finding balance in communities as they grow. Some of the conversations that I've had have been really around how much joy it brings people to drive by or walk by this corner, look through these windows and know that it's a black space. It feels to them and to us like it's another step in reclaiming some, a, a community that means so much to us. Because every major American city, if you um, look at statistics, has suffered a high degree of decline in African American residency in traditional black communities. And that's due to gentrification. And what happens is we become erased. It's always about, we used to be here. Right? The same is happening here in Seattle. And we just really need people to know that we are still here. This is our book where we feature 74 local oh. artists. I'm in here as well. Ernest Thomas has been uplifting black artists for many years. He's the president of Onyx Fine Arts Collective. This is their second location in Seattle. 
Thomas says he's grateful for this new collaboration, especially since it's hard to find space for the growing number of black artists in the area. We began to look for them. Started with seven, and now over a 17 year period of time have identified 550 something on our list. So that says the artists are here and, and they are, see, in general, there are more artists than there are places to show artwork. Thomas himself is an artist, so he understands the mission in a personal way. Hello, my friend, come in. He also happens to be the inspiration behind the painting Tiffany Bennett is buying. It's a great example of black artists uplifting one another in a unique and unexpected way. I said, that's my art. And he says, yep. <laughs> and then he says, and I says, that kind of looks like me. He said, yep. But, but I'd, never, I'd never wear that suit. Watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.